A baby born from an embryo frozen more than 30 years ago. A medical feat, stunning, even doctors. The fact that somebody who wanted to have a baby but couldn't now has one thanks to a frozen embryo that was frozen 30 years ago, that is remarkable. Last week, Thaddeus was born in Ohio to his adoptive parents, Tim and Lindsay Pierce. We had a rough birth, but we are both doing well now. The new mom telling MIT Technology Review, we are in awe that we have this precious baby. Thaddeus was conceived in a lab in 1994 by Linda Archer, who's now 62 years old. She and her then-husband used IVF, a fairly new technology at the time, to eventually have their now 30-year-old daughter. But they froze three other unused embryos. Years later, faced with the decision of what to do with those embryos, Archer learned about a Christian embryo adoption agency in which donors have a say in whom can receive the embryos. The Pierces were a perfect match. Doctors say implanting older embryos is not necessarily riskier. If these eggs are frozen properly and they are thawed and past screening, they can be just as healthy as an embryo created today. The Pierces in their 30s had been trying for seven years to have a baby. They were barely five years old when their now son's embryo was frozen. The new mom saying, we didn't go into it thinking we would break any records. We just wanted to have a baby. About one million frozen embryos are estimated to be in storage in the U.S., leaving the ethical question of what to do with them all. Such as the 